Journal Record senior reporter Sarah Terry Kobo joins us to discuss stories making news in business this week. Sarah, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. The changes could be in the works for some nonprofits in the state. What are we expecting? Well, some mergers are possible and maybe even some closures for some of these organizations. Requests for services are up, but donations are down. In Oklahoma, that's partly due to fewer donations from the energy sector, but it's also due to a tight state budget. Now, there's some good news for the Port of Catoosa. Um, what's up there? Well, that's right. Shipments are up this year. Uh, the ag sector helped boost the port with more shipments of grain, soybeans, and liquid fertilizer. Uh, heavy rains in late 2014 and through 2015 slowed traffic through the nation's uh, largest inlet port. The stock prices are on the upswing for Oklahoma energy companies. What's driving that? Well, so economists think that that has less to do with the incoming president-elect and his cabinet picks. Oil prices are rising, thanks in part to the OPEC agreement in November to cut production. There's been a new development regarding the estate of Aubrey McClendon. What's the latest? Well, the late oil man's attorneys say that one claim against the estate is fraudulent. Forensic examiners looked at the document that purportedly was a letter penned in 1991 from McClendon to a Tulsa businessman named Thomas Quinn. Now, the font used wasn't even available to the public until 1995, and the letter was nearly identical to a template offered on the website of TV personality Susie Orman. Hmm. Quinn's attorney asked to be removed from that case this week. Interesting. Uh, now, Saudi Arabian firefighters are coming to Oklahoma City. What's the story? Well, it's a pretty interesting partnership with the Oklahoma City Fire Department and Aramco Training Services. That's an affiliate of the Saudi Kingdom's uh, state-owned oil company. Uh, Chief Keith Bryant says he hopes his employees can share and learn new skills from this partnership. What's coming up in the journal record? Well, we will be looking at the possibility of expanding the sales tax base and the consternation that could cause some service-based businesses. Sarah Turi-Cobo from the Journal Record, thanks for joining us. Glad to be here, Robert.